Hello, my name is Elias Logan. I'm an expert and dealer in authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I'm on a website called trustedcoins.com where you get a wealth of information about ancient coins and artifacts along with access to buy over 6,800 items at the time of the making of this film. Every item that you sell, that I sell, comes complete with a beautiful certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity comes complete with a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, my signature. I'm an expert that's known worldwide for identifying over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. The coins specifically come in a professional numismatic flip. This, this is a silver coin of Roman Emperor Augustus, by the way. So this way, you can take a look at the front of the coin and the back of the coin without taking it out of the protective case. And inside, uh, you have a miniaturized description that matches the number on the certificate and a short description that is the same as the certificate. And on the certificate, you have a professionally done description complete many times with a major reference or collection. And on the back, you have uh, the historical context of the item you have purchased. So whether you're brand new to the collecting field or you would like to make a gift for yourself or others, or I believe this would be a fantastic investment, you may want to visit my website trustedcoins.com. Now, I will be reading the biography of Roman Emperor Julian II. He's also known as Julian the Apostate or Julian the Philosopher. This is what he looked like. Notice he has the full beard. He, uh, he um, went after more of the pagan emperors with her coming back to the full beard which was not as popular at the time as it was maybe a hundred years before. So I have many coins of Julian II in my store, you may want to check that out. Now for his biography. Julian, commonly known as Julian the Apostate or also Julian the Philosopher, was Roman Emperor from 361 to 363 AD and a noted philosopher. A member of the Constantinian dynasty, he was made Caesar over the western provinces by Constantius II in 355 AD, when he campaigned successfully against the Alemanni and Franks. Most notable was his crushing victory over the Alemanni in 357 at the Battle of Argentoratum. He was the last non-Christian ruler of the Roman Empire and it was his desire to bring the empire back to its ancient Roman values in order to save it from dissolution. His rejection of Christianity in favor of paganism caused him to be called Julian the Apostate. Julian was born in 332 AD in Constantinople. He was the son of Julius Constantius, consul of 335 AD, half-brother of Emperor Constantine the Great, and his second wife Basilina, a woman of Greek origin. Both were Christians. Constantine II died in 340 when he attacked his brother Constance. Constance in, in turn fell in 350 AD in the war against the usurper Magnentius. This left Cons Constantius II as the sole remaining emperor. In the need of support in 351 AD he made Julian's half-brother Gallus Caesar of the East, while Constantius II himself turned his attention westward toward Magnentius, whom he defeated defeated decisively that year. In 354 AD, Gallus, who had imposed the rule of terror over the territories under his command, was executed. In 358 AD, Julian gained victories over the Salian Franks. The troops proclaimed Julian Augustus in Paris. In the spring of 361 AD, Julian led his army into the territory of the Alemanni, where he captured their king, Vadomarius. On December 11th of 361 AD, Julian entered the Constantinople as sole emperor and despite his rejection of Christianity, his political act was to preside over Constantius' Christian burial. The new emperor rejected the style of administration of his immediate predecessors. He, seek rule to, he sought rule as an absolute autocrat. His own philosophic notions led him to idealize the reigns of Hadrian and Marcus Aurelius. After five months of dealings in the capital, Julian left Constantinople in May and moved to Antioch, arriving in mid-July, staying there for nine months before launching his faithful campaign against Persia in March of 363 AD. 
Antioch was a city favored by splendid temples along with the famous oracle of Apollo in nearby Daphne. He tried to resurrect the ancient oracular spring of Castalia at the temple of Apollo at Daphne. Julian's ascetic lifestyle was not popular. Julian's rise to Augustus was the result of military insurrection eased by Constantius' sudden death. Julian's forces suffered several attacks from Sassanid forces. In one such engagement on 26 of June 363, the indecisive battle of Samara near Maranga, Julian was wounded when the Sassanid army raided his column. He received a wound from a spear and that, that per pierced the lower lobe of his liver, the peritoneum and intestines. This wound was not immediately deadly. Julian was treated by his personal physician, Oribasius of Perganum, who seemed to have made every attempt to treat the wound. On the third day, a major hemorrhage occurred and the emperor died during the night. As Julian wished, his body was buried outside Tarsus, though it was later removed to Constantinople. So visit my site, trustedcoins.com, to buy authentic coins of this emperor and beyond. Thank you.